Hello there, this is David Lamb for Mac Twenty Questions, and today we're looking at iBooks Author. And I particularly want to have a look at putting objects in iBooks. Well, objects can be any objects that you put in there, whether it be a text box, a shape, or a table, or charts, or one of these widgets. Whatever you put in there, they're going to be objects. So these objects, when you put them in there, you need to decide whether they're going to be inline, floating, or anchored. So let's first of all decide to put in a circle and put it in there and this at the moment has come in and it is a floating object and it doesn't move with the text. So if I put this here and size it up or do whatever else, it'll stay on that page whatever else I do with it. So if I get some extra text, so for instance if I start putting some extra text here, it stays in place and it doesn't move. So there you go, that's one way of putting objects where it stays on the page and doesn't move whatever else happens with your ebook. So you have to decide how that's going to best fit in with the way that you want your book to look. Okay, so another possibility with this object here is that instead of having it floating, we could have it in line. Now we have it in line, it's going to stay within that bit of text there and it's going to go wherever the text goes. So let's just do the same thing again, press the enter key a few times and you see it moves with that bit of text. It's quite simple in as much as you don't get any object wrapping on this one here and it just stays wherever it is within that bit of text. It can go within a block of text like that or it can go at the beginning or the end. Now it's back to object causes wrap. So if I move that over here look that's not a really very good way to have an object having that bit of text over that side and that bit of text on that side. You have to read going across here and it's very difficult to read it so maybe in that situation want to do that and have it going around just on one side of the object or that have it going just on that side of the object so there you go that's what you can do with floating and having the text wrapping around this one here it doesn't wrap on either side this one here wraps on both sides that'll go to the left or the right depending on which has got the most room and of course you can have text to fit or text to go like that there so we've got it lining up along the edge of this square here rather than going actually around the circle. So we've got uh, floating, we've got inline and let's have anchored. Now let's click on the anchored button. Now here's our anchor, this little blue thing at the top of here and it's set to this corner of the page here at the moment so let's set this anchor so it goes to this morning. Okay. Now the way that this one's going to work is that the object will stay in position until this morning moves on to another page and we can show you that by pressing the return key a few times. So this morning is still on page two and it's still on page two. I've pressed it a few more times and as soon as it goes off page two and onto page three it moves on to the next page. Now what you'll notice as well is that this object goes to the same position on that page as it was on the other page. So let's do a backspace on that and put it back onto page two. And you can see it's on the second half of this page here. So it's on the right hand side and it's about halfway down the page, well nearly halfway down the page and it stays there. So this morning that's our bit of text that is controlling this object. As soon as that goes on to another page it moves and it goes to the same position on the next page. Let's just change it back to a non-floating object. Let's select it, let's put it back to a floating object. It's on page three. Bring it over, put it on page two again. Okay, so that's, there it is as a floating object. And now if I turn it into an anchored object, okay, now we have to remember to re-anchor it because at the moment it's anchored up to the top of this page here again. And we're going to put it back to where we want it anchored with. So we want it anchored with this morning. So there you go, that's a, a couple of little tips on putting objects in the page and having them so that they either move with the text or don't move with the text so that your book is going to look the best it can look. This is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions. Bye bye now. Talk to you again soon. And don't forget to have a look at the other videos I made about how to use iBooks Author. Bye bye now. Thanks for watching the video. And why don't you check out the other videos? Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.